Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to solve water jug problem in artificial intelligence. The problem definition of uh, water jug problem is you are given two jugs, one is of uh, 4 liter and another one is of uh, 3 liters in this case. Neither of these jugs has any measuring markers on it. There is a pump that can be used to fill the jugs with water. How can you get exactly 2 liters of water into 4 liters of jug? So, uh, we have been given 2 jugs. One is of uh, 4 liter in size and the second one is of uh, 3 liter. Because there is no marker on the top of these 2 jugs, it is not possible to fill exactly 2 liters of water into 4 liters of jug. So, what we need to do here is uh, we need to apply uh, the artificial intelligence technique to solve this particular problem here. So first we will try to represent this particular problem in the form of uh, state space here. Uh, the first one is uh, we need to have a state for this particular problem. Uh, we represent that particular state as x comma y where x represents the quantity of water in a 4 liter jig and y represents the quantity of water in 3 liter jig the values acceptable by this particular x is either 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4 because we can have 0 liter of water a maximum of 4 liter of water in 4 liter jug. Similarly, the values for y are 0, 1, 2 or 3. The meaning is either we can have 0 liter of water or maximum we can say a 3 liter of water in 3 liter jug here. Uh, the start state in this case is 0, 0 means uh, we have 0 liter of water in 4 liter jug and 0 liter of water in 3 liter jug here. The goal state is uh, 2 comma n uh, for any n in this case because uh, we are expecting 2 liters of water in 4 liter jug. There is no specific value given for the uh, 3 liter jug. So, we can have any number in that case. It may be 0 or it may be any number in that case. Here we need to start from this particular uh, the start state that is 0 0 and uh, we need to end up with this particular goal state that is uh, 2 comma n in this case. Now what we did is uh, we have represented our problem in the form of uh, state space. Now we need to represent or we need to formulate all the uh, can say that the production rules so that we can go from start state to goal state in this case. There were multiple number of uh, production rules are required to solve this particular problem. Uh, we will try to understand each of these particular production rules uh, one by one in this case. So, the first production rule is uh, if the value of x is less than 4, we will put 4 liter of water into uh, can say that 4 liter jug that is we will fill the 4 liter jug in this case. If the value of y is less than 3, we will fill this particular 3 liter jug. So, that is the second rule in this case. The third one is uh, if the value or you can say that the amount of water present in 4 liter jug is greater than 0, what we do is uh, we will remove some water from that particular jug that is x minus d comma y. We do not do anything with respect to the second one, but what we do is we will remove some water from you can say that 4 liter jug that is x minus d comma y here. Similarly, if we have uh, some water in the 3 liter jug, we will remove some quantity of water from that that is uh, x comma y minus uh, d in this case. Now, coming back to the fifth and sixth rule, again if we have uh, uh, some water in uh, 4 liter jug that is x is greater than 0, rather than removing some quantity, we will remove everything or you can say that we will empty 4 liter jug on the ground. Similarly, if the value of y is greater than 0, we will empty that particular 3 liter jug in this case. Now, coming back to the next uh, two rules, they are very important uh, in this case. Here, we will check the value of uh, x plus y, that is the quantity of water present in a three, 4 liter jug and the quantity of water present in a 3 liter jug, if it is greater than or equivalent to 4. What we do here is, uh, I will try to represent this particular thing in the form of uh, diagram here. Let us assume that this is a 4 liter jug and this is 3 liter jug here. Uh, the quantity of water present in the first one is uh, x quantity is present here and the quantity of water present here is y here. 
now what we do here is uh, if the value of x plus y is greater than 4 what we do is we will remove some water from this particular y and then we will put it into this particular jug so that it will get filled so how much amount of water i have to put here so total size is 4 liter x quantity is already present so 4 minus x quantity of water i need to fill from here to here so that i will be able to fill this particular 4 liter jug so from y or you can say from 3 liter jug we have to remove 4 minus x quantity of water and then we will need to put into this particular jug so that it will get filled here so that is written here once it filled it will be 4 and we have removed 4 minus x quantity of water from y so that is y minus 4 minus x in this case similarly in this case if the value of uh, uh, can say that x plus y is greater than equal to 3 what we do is 3 minus y quantity of water is removed from x so that the second one will get filled in this case so what we do uh, we will remove uh, 3 minus uh, x quantity of y quantity of water and then we will put it here so uh, the reverse of the previous case so that is what we did in this case now there is uh, uh, one more case that comes into picture that is uh, x plus y is less than 4 here it is not greater than or equal to 4 and uh, y is greater than 0 what we do is everything from the second one is put into first one that is nothing but x plus y and it is equal to 0 here similarly if x plus y is less than or equal to 3 and x is greater than 0 everything from the first one is put into second one it will become 0 comma x plus y in this case the next 11th rule is uh, if you have uh, 2 liters of water in 3 liter jig it will be put into the first one it will become 2 comma 0 if you have 2 liters of water in the 4 liter jig it will be emptied so that you will get 2 comma y as the result in this case these are the 12 uh, production rules using these particular production rules we can solve the water jig problem in this case First we will see the general approach and then we will try to apply these particular rules so that we will get the solution in this case. The general approach is uh, we need to start at a 0, 0th state until we reach the goal state that is 2, 0 we have to apply a rule whose left side matches with the current state and then we will get the new or a resulting state here. Unless and until we get the goal state that is 2, 0, we need to go on applying the rules in this case. Because we have uh, 12 production rules, we can get a multiple number of uh, solutions in this case. Uh, I will be giving you two solutions. Uh, if you apply the production rules in different way, you may get some different solution also. In the first solution, I will start with uh, the start state that is uh, 0, 0. Uh, first I will apply the rule number 2 so that I can fill the second jig with the 3 liter uh, it will become 0 comma 3 here now uh, what I do is uh, I will apply the rule number 9 uh, because uh, if I add these two things that is uh, 0 plus 3 it is equivalent to 3 here uh, which is less than or equivalent to uh, what you can say that uh, uh, 4 and the value of y is greater than 0 that is uh, 3 is greater than 0 so uh, what it says is uh, put everything from uh, second jig to first one that is nothing but x plus y uh, which is equivalent to uh, 0 plus 3 which is equivalent to 3 here now 3 comma 0 is the new state uh, i will apply again rule number 2 uh, so that i will fill the second jig uh, it will become 3 comma 3 now if i add these two things it is uh, 6 here 6 is uh, greater than uh, or equivalent to uh, what we can say 4 uh, I will go to what you can say rule number uh, 7 here uh, and you can see the value of y is greater than 0 so I will put some water from the second one so that the first one will get filled here so that is what I did here I have put some water from the second one that is 1 liter from the second one so that it has uh, the first one get filled second one will have only 2 liters here now uh, what I do is uh, I am expecting 2 liters in uh, first uh, jig so I will remove this particular 4 liter uh, by applying rule number 5 uh, I will get a 0 comma 2 and then I will again apply rule number 9 uh, because if I add these two things uh, it is uh, uh, less than 3 
and then uh, y is greater than 0 so i will put everything from second to first one here so that i will get 2 comma 0 that is nothing but the goal state in this case similarly the same problem can be solved with uh, another uh, way like i will start with uh, 0 0 again i will fill the first jagnam with the help of rule number 1 uh, it will become 4 comma 0 now uh, if we add these two things it will become uh, 4 here and if you go with the rule number 8 what it says is uh, if the value of x plus y is greater than 3 and x is greater than 0 put some water from x to uh, y or you can say from first jug to second uh, jug here so what i did here is you can see uh, 3 liters of water i have put from first uh, jug to second jug i got 1 comma 3 here now i will remove this particular 3 by applying uh, rule number 6 i will empty the 3 liter jug here I will put this particular 1 into second one by applying uh, rule number uh, 10 here. Again, I will fill this particular first jig. So, once I fill this particular first jig by using rule number 1, I will get 4, 1. Uh, using rule number 8, I will put some water from the first one to second one. So, it will become uh, 2, comma 3 here. I got 2 in the first jig, uh, 3 liters in the second jig. I am not much worried about the second jig. I am worried only about the first jig because I need 2 liters of uh, water in the first jig. So, I got that the second second jug may be consisting of any number here. So, uh, this is the goal state uh, in this case. So, these are some of the rules uh, we can apply so that we can go from start state to the goal state in this case. So, in this video, I have discussed what is uh, water jug problem, what are the set of production rules we have and how to apply those production rules so that we can go from uh, start state to goal state in this case. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.